Hi guys, this is Ashan and you're watching the TechMate channel. So, what's up? No, I mean, what's up? Like, WhatsApp is getting the whole technology world buzzing from the last couple of days. So what has WhatsApp done in the last couple of days that it's getting us all leads about that? So yeah, first thing, it's got, uh, I think, yeah, yesterday morning, yeah, since yesterday morning, uh, WhatsApp has been banning users for using third-party applications like WhatsApp Plus and WhatsApp MD. If you don't know, uh, they're, they're, these applications allow the user to customize their colors, themes, and customize the user interface. Uh, if you want to know more, I just put a link in the description so you can just read it through and if you're one of the banned users, uh, I put a trick through which you can actually get through your ban in a short amount of time uh, than the normal one. So anyways, okay, let's get to the point. What's the second thing WhatsApp has done to get all the media attention? Um, where do I start? Yeah, uh, WhatsApp claims to have about 600 million users. Uh, Undoubtedly being the great, the most used instant messaging service. So you want among those 600 million users and uh, let's say you have about uh, 50 friends on your WhatsApp friends list. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just guessing, okay? 50 friends on your friends list and you chat with 10 or 15 of them regularly, like once a week or kind of thing. And I'm sure you guys must be tired of chatting on your mobile phone all the time. So, WhatsApp got something for you. A desktop version of WhatsApp. Yeah, I know, we've been using the desktop version of WhatsApp using blue stakes and other stuff. But now this is a official WhatsApp release. A web version meaning this is not a native application, this is more of a web application. And, right, so what does this web app give us? I'll so, this is how the web uh, page looks like, guys. Uh, Web.whatsapp.com so here on your left is the QR code. On the right it says scan code with your phone to log in. Um, that is the way you need to log into the device. Okay, there's a little checklist before you even try to do this. You need to have the latest version of WhatsApp, uh, a very active, in, uh, an active internet connection on both your mobile as well as your laptop. Uh, the way you log into your uh, web app is by using uh, your mobile phone. You go to menu uh, on the latest version of WhatsApp. There is an option named WhatsApp Web. You click on WhatsApp Web, and then a camera pops up. You scan this QR code using the camera, and that is going to do. Uh, I mean, that is going to help you uh, log into your account. As soon as you scan the QR code, it logs you into the account directly. You don't need to uh, do stuff, and then it'll show you a screen which which looks like this. This is how uh, the screen will look. I mean, this is not my screen. I got it somewhere from the internet. So this is how your screen will look like. Uh, your active screen, and you can chat from here. All through the chat, you need to have your data connection or your internet connection on on your mobile phone. Uh, the moment you switch off your internet connection on your mobile phone, it disconnects, and you cannot use WhatsApp on your desktop or your PC. So this is how WhatsApp web works. So, what is the final verdict? The final verdict would be not so positive, not so negative. It's a good thing that WhatsApp has got us uh, a version of the web which can be used very well. I mean, for someone like me who likes to shuffle between the laptop and the mobile phone, this is going to be really useful. Um, the cons here would be the limitations. The limitation of the mobile, uh, of the web browser we're using. Uh, this application works only and only on Chrome as of now. You cannot use it on Mozilla, Firefox, or Safari, or any other uh, web browser as of now. And that of the operating system, you cannot use it on Apple. I mean, you cannot use it on iOS as of now. I mean, you can use it on any other platform, Android, Windows, stuff like S60 and stuff like that. You can use it on all other platforms except on iOS. Uh, WhatsApp says it is due to some platform limitation. I we don't know what platform limitations are, so chill. And one more thing I which I found a bit awkward and the uh, work in this was the connection of the mobile phone. WhatsApp has decided to use a phone connection not just for logging into your account in the web app, 
but also i mean you're going to use it all throughout your chat as i told you the moment you disconnect your phone from the internet you blow up i mean you cannot use the web app anymore and uh, it even gives you warnings of uh, battery low and all the other stuff so maybe the web app is too much connected uh, with your mobile application which i found is not the best thing to have i mean that is my personal but it thank so, you guys for watching uh, please do like and subscribe i mean your subscriptions are valuable to us and if you got something to tell us about whatsapp web or uh, i mean anything any problems in anything i'll i'll reply you can please comment i'll reply i'll be humbled actually so that's it guys see you guys in the next video peace